this is Valentine's Day and you're spending it with us, perhaps you're single or maybe about to become single and looking for some dating advice. Dating, after all, is a long-term investment. Your time, your energy, and your money. The average American spends $1,600 a year on dating. That's according to Match.com, who might have a little bit of skin in the game. Here's what else $1,600 can get you. Down payment on a Ford Focus, a new Apple MacBook Pro, a 55-inch LG TV, 3,200 marshmallow peeps to get you ready for Easter, or a flamethrower, interestingly enough. So you may now be asking yourself, is the cost of dating worth it, and will I get that return on my investment? To help us answer those questions, Liberty Vitter, professor at Washington University in St. Louis, features editor of the Harvard Data Science Review, and my favorite sister, who I get to spend Valentine's Day with. All right, Liberty, uh, $1,600 per year in dating, do you get to fall in love more than once for this? Well, I mean, unless you want the flamethrower, then yes, you do get to fall in love more than once. A lot of people, bear with me through this, okay? Humans are like fish. So fish go through their lives and they reject the first 37% of partners that they could be with. And then the next one that comes along that's better than the rest of the fish they've been with is the one they settle down with. So we can think of that like human nature. You play your field, the field in the 20s and then you settle down. So if you think you're going to have 10 love partners in life, you'd reject the first four. And then the next one that comes along that's better than the first four is the one that you you settle down with. It's a fine balance between having the patience to wait for the right one and having the foresight to cash in before all the good ones are taken. <laughs> I really just wish we had had the graphics department figure out a way to do this with fish. It would have been it would have been great. But you think you think about this, the cost of dating continues to go up, right? And it's not like it used to be where you just get set up. There's dating apps and then you've got to send flowers on Valentine's Day. It's it's not cheap. Do you actually get anything for the $121,000 the average American spends on dating in their lifetime? Well, I'm still waiting for my Valentine's Day flowers for my dear brother. But yes, <laughs> dating is going way up. With the invention of apps, people are going on more dates than ever. The grass is always greener. We even have people going on two dates a night or are double dipping into their, their dates every night. So you also see it though in everyone. People are spending four times more on dating, but it's not just men, it's also women. Because a lot of times now, women are paying for half of the date as well. Yeah, you know, chivalry seems to be dead. Um, Joe Ward, our producer who is single and interested in this uh, conversation, I, I think he actually, you know, Joe needs to listen to that. You, know, you can get the girl to pay. You might, might find some more dates. Don't is, do that, Joe. Is it, Don't is do it, that. Is it worth it, though? Are married people actually happier over time? Well, I'm not sure it's worth it if you can get the flamethrower because married people are only slightly happier than divorced or single people. So divorced people, I'm sorry, are in the lowest level of life satisfaction. Then it comes single people, then it comes married. But both divorced and married people go on these huge ups and downs, whereas single people spend their life at a pretty good level of satisfaction. So I guess it's what level of volatility you're willing well, and then, to have and in then your we life. Talk about, we talk about how expensive things are, and the word of one of my good friends uh, divorces are so expensive because they're worth it. That's way more, ex divorces are way more expensive than, wor than dating uh, to begin with. Um, Liberty, enjoy the rest of your Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.